Hello and welcome back to Shovel Knight. As you can see, we've now unlocked the world map and let's go and investigate this village. Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha. Ha. That's no weapon, just a shovel. Fuck you, mate. I murdered many a wild animal with this shovel. You don't even know. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Standard advice for everyone in life. If you ever want to speak to someone, just go up and press up. So we've got some horse-headed people here. And oh, look at this dude. This dude's jacked. Goddamn. I need to go wherever he goes to the gym. So there's a bard man's here. Talk to the bard. Hail, traveller. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music seats if you saw I did put those up in the previous game. Take 500 gold for each. Sure, I'll take your gold, mate. Wonderful. It is, in fact. Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth. Oh. Ost ostinato? Trumpet Trimblitz? Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm just going to keep on going this way. Because we need to talk to this goat fuck here. What up, goat fuck? It's a goatician. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Because he's a goat. Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Sure, I'll buy your meal ticket. So the meal tickets in this game is uh, they're how you upgrade your health. So you go to this guy, you go to the good gastronomer. A meal ticket. Hand it to me and I'll get to work on my best recipe. Go for it. I'll dazzle your planet in no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon the mess. That rhymed. I only just realised. God, it's slow. Ah, look at this. It's on a nice gold platter for us. I hope it's delicious. Look at that ice oh, fish. I don't like fish. We increased my life though, so that's fine. Now then, we talk to him again, and then we buy another meal ticket from him, because at this point in time it's way more important to upgrade your health than it is to upgrade your magic. A meal ticket? Yeah, we read this, so it's fine. Right. Look at him get to work there. What a fantastic astronomer he is. Uh, oh, I didn't actually get to look at wherever that was. Either way, I'm sure it was delicious. Right. So, now we've got some other places to go. So, you've got a bunch of people here who... None of which are really of any importance. What you want to go is over here. You want to talk to this guy. The Truple Acolyte. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Truple King. Who? You've never heard of the Truple King? Half trout and half apple? Pronounced like mouthful. So, troutful. 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 He's one of the... <laughs> he's one of the forest gods here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! God, he's really serious about that. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Travel King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Travel Chalices to believers. Would you like one? Absolutely. Give me that shit. Oh, I'm short on gold. Fuck! Never mind then. <laughs> Alright, well, time to just bounce the fuck out of here. Because, unfortunately, I miscalculated my money and wasn't paying attention to how much gold I had. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Oh no, that's the Hoop Kid. Fuck the Hoop Kid. It's the hedge farmer. Are you really THE Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging this dirt. No problem, mate. You're gonna be amazed. Just, oh, look. Yes! Look how happy he is! Holy shit! Wow, incredible. You really are Shovel Knight. That I am. That I am. And where's that hoop kid gone? Let's, uh, let's fuck with him. Yeah! Fuck that, that's my hoop now. There we go. So we're gonna use this, uh, water-carrying lady. And we're going to get on from the roof here, and boom, chest. Lots and lots of gold, exactly what we want, and another music sheet. I'd go and hand that in now, but I only really want to get enough money so I can get one of those tranquil uh, chalices. So, on to the next level, the Pridemore Keep Lair of King Knight. Let's get to it. Let's get digging, even. Alright. So... One thing 
that I didn't really do a good job of explaining uh, in the first video was uh, the reason I'm playing this game mostly is because I kind of feel like even though it did it had a successful Kickstarter and everything the not a lot of people are aware of its existence and I think that's just a shame I mean I spent most of the first episode just kind of talking about how much I loved the game but I didn't really explain you know to oh, I just that kind of worked out well with the gems anyway. But yeah, I didn't really explain why the specific reason is that I wanted to, to play this game. It's because, you know, I wanted to give it a chance to people to to see exactly what this game is. Oh, I just, look at these little rat copter guys. Look at them. I bet they don't even know what they're doing. They just Somebody just came along, strapped a little whirling blade to them and sent them on their merry way. I wonder if they enjoy it. I mean, I'd hope so. Don't don't be cruel to animals. Okay, so um, uh, so this let's play at the moment is just me, uh, but we're currently in the midst of sorting out uh, sort of a decent area for the rest of us to record together, because um, at the moment we just had. Uh, solo stuff going on, so like I'm just doing this on my own, and uh, Zach did the Kerbal Let's Play on his own. Um, but I think the overall plan is to kind of try and get everyone, or at least two people, uh, into each Let's Play. So this either may continue with just me, or it might continue with uh, either Zach or you know Steve or Scott, you know, basically anyone else in the team. These fucking knights are really cool because they've got some some nice tactics here, in which they they raise the shield above their head and they can block your uh, down thrust. But you just gotta know how to beat them. Pretty simple, really. So I don't want to fuck this up, and I didn't. Oh. So happy about that because I fucked up so many things on the f in the first episode. It's ridiculous. I'm uh, I'm actually making pretty decent progress through this level, I'd say. I mean, again, tooting my own horn and talking about how good at video games I am. Yeah, you know, it's probably going to come off very well. Ah, fuck. Again, like <laughs> I start talking about how good I am at video games and I start fucking up. So that's not not good. Not good. Oh. Ooh, this uh, looks like it fits us perfectly, but uh, there's nothing we can do here. Maybe something in that later. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just guessing. I just think that's kind of interesting while that's there. There must be a reason for it, I assume. You must be able to backtrack through the levels or something. I kind of feel like you can. Um, sort of Super Mario World 3-esque. Uh, oh shit, that's a bomb. That is not what you want for dinner. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go and fuck these mage guys up and screw them up with their energy orbs. Uh, so. God, whoever uh, looked after this this castle has not done a very good job. There's just dirt and sand everywhere. I'd, I'd fucking fire my cleaners if, if I owned this castle. Ooh. Um... This seems like progression to me, so I'm gonna head back. Oh, I did a bad thing. I did a very bad thing. Um, so yeah, let's go up this way instead. Um, oh, I guess yeah, that was just an alternate path that I actually fucked up for myself. This is where it's progression. Whoops. Oh well. Onwards. Oh, I love these little Griffin dudes. They're pretty cool. Let's go. A little half-hearted stab at you there, claw, and then. <laughs> oh god, there's fire inside me! Help! <laughs> oh. oh, more rat copters. Goddamn rat copters. They're everywhere. It's even worse. I guess whoever did uh, <laughs> tie these little whirling blades to the rats. Had a had a pretty smart idea because they're a damn annoyance. Oh, can't miss the gems. Need that money. Ah. Oh, there we go. Nice. 
Oh, double kill. Look at that skill. Look at that skill. I'm so good at video games. <laughs> Alright, let's take this guy on. Oh, hold on. There's wall treasure first. Wall treasure is more important. So yeah, the main tactic for this these types of enemies is, you know, you go for the one attack and then you get them when they're blocking that side, or if they're going to come for the stab, that's when you go for the above. Quite a simple pattern, really. But uh, can catch you off guard. And, uh, now you got these nice little magic book platforms, which, I mean, don't really make a lot of sense, but it's a video game, so I really fucked that up. Wow really need to focus more in this game. It's, you know, it can get... This, right now it's not too bad, but some of the later levels are definitely going to be quite difficult. Fuck! Well, that was bad. Oh, we're not near the boss though, so that's okay. So hopefully we should be able to get another boss down in this uh, this episode. That'd be nice. Alright, let's uh, continue onwards. Ah, uh, jump right into the lava weird lava orange soda type stuff. Whatever that's supposed to be. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna forget that bag because it's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass to get. I don't want to risk it more than I already have. There we go. Some nice chicken for us here. Get our health back. Something tells me that we are right by the boss room. Then, uh, considering this is clearly a uh, a pre-boss room area. Oh no, not not just yet. Seems my memory of this game isn't quite as good as I thought it was. <laughs> it gets me every time. Oh. Oh. Just completely missing them there. There we go. So there was a little boss horde, but uh, we're not quite at the boss yet. Oh yeah, so there's another checkpoint. Now we're coming up to the boss. Yeah. It's King Knight. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Ha! Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. He's fabulous. You're naught but a decadent dandy. Ah, oh, shit, son. That's a burn. That's a burn right there. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Oh, the best kind. The best kind of justice. Silence! Right, well, now we're going to fuck this guy up. Hopefully. Ooh. Okay. Get some good hits in, but I'm taking quite a few more hits than I hoped. There we go. Oh. Taking far more hits than I'd like. Oh, no. See, this looks like harmless confetti, but it's actually quite harmful, and I just keep jumping into it. Fucking no idea where he's getting this razor-sharp confetti from, but uh, it's quite effective. Oh! Two more hits! Two more hits! No! Oh! Mm. One hit left, and I fucked it. Ah! Let's go again. Straight back into it. <sighs> right. Okay. Right, okay. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't going well. <laughs> That's a bit better. That's what we like to see. There we go. <sighs> I keep trying to jump. I keep jumping when he jumps, and that's not the way it should go. So, now we want to be careful, because I think I was jumping too much when there was the confetti about before, and you don't really want to do that. Ah. It's a good thing I increased my life, isn't it? But uh, it's not really helping me, is it? Really, I'd like the, that uh, trample chalice. Uh, for those of you that don't know, which I assume is probably most of you that, if, that are watching this, uh, the trample chalice is just, essentially it's a thing that you can use to put some sort of potion in, you know, like a strength potion and a vulnerability potion, and most importantly, the health potion, which is something that, uh... Ah, no, fuck health potions, I don't even need them. <laughs> no, I, d I definitely do need them. Definitely do need them. But yeah, we beat King Knight. It's two bosses down. 
Well, uh, actually, no, that's one boss down. I'm not going to count Black Knight because that's a tutorial boss, which I fucked up on completely. Anyway, we're back at our camp. Now we're going to have a nap. And I wonder what we're going to dream about. Hmm. Let's find out. Oh, nothing this time. Oh, let's get ourselves up. Dig this. And then we're off. So yeah, as you can see, after beating uh, this boss, it's opened up the new path now. Well, it's opened up part of a path now because we still have to go down here, but that's for next time. But before we end, let's uh, oh, first off, go back to the village. We gotta have a, a quick little fight first. That's what. Uh, yeah, you get the little minions that appear on the boss. You also, uh, appear on the boss, appear on the map. You also get uh, some mini bosses or sub-bosses, I guess, that also appear on the map later on in the game, uh, which are nice, fun little additions. But uh, I don't mind doing these little mini excursions when the minions appear on the map, because it's a good way to get more gold, uh, you know, just more gold, more resources in general. Uh, plus, you know, it's you know, it's always fun. You know, this game is a lot of fun, regardless of what's happening in it or not. Uh, so onwards, so now we can actually go to the village now that we've beat the little knight there, even though didn't actually see a knight in that little section, but we're going to ignore that. So first, talk to the really happy bard here, I was pressing A, so I'm not even listening to the, the advice that I got from the guard here, I supposed to press up to talk to people, not A. So here we go, we'll give him another music sheet, very nice, I can't be asked to read all of that text. I'm pretty sure none of you really care about it anyway. That's fine. So anyway, we go back down. We're going to go back down. I'm going to talk to the uh, the triple acolyte. Boom. What up? Let's buy from him. Boom. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Now then, I wonder if this croaker. Hey, shovel knight. Things are tough, but don't throw it in the trowel. Ha. 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 Oh. Hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Absolutely. Uh, oh, so we've got a flare wand, shoots fireballs, a fishing rod, and a chaos sphere. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the fishing rod. It's very useful. Probably a lot more useful than you think it is. Uh, let's also talk to Chester again, and let's get the flare wand. The flare wand's pretty useful too. So yeah, there are various items that you can get. Uh, you can only buy them, unfortunately, for Chester. You find chests uh, in levels later on in the game, uh, which you'd think, you know, you just get an item from, but no, the Chester pops out, it's quite funny. Anyway, uh, on to the Trowful King. Let's just uh, have the Hedge Farmer dance again, because, you know, I like that. And then there's still this girl's hoop. See ya! To the Trowful Pond! Shit! There he is, in his trouty apple goodness. It's the Trowful King. Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Aid me! I sense a Trowful Chalice. I can fill it with magical Ikor. That's pronounced Ikor. I said Ikor. I'm an idiot. Choose your Ikor wisely. Uh, so the Ikor of Renewal refills all health and magic. They are Icon of Boldness, Become Invincible, Icon of Fortune, Absorb Near My Treasure. So, yeah, definitely going to go for the health one. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Ah, oh, this is the best. You guys are going to love this.
Boom! Now look what I call. Fare thee well, shovel knight, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to call that again as the end of the second episode. I'll see you next time.